On today's special episode of In The Know, we'll be diving deep into QuickBooks bill pay with pro advisor trainer and firm leader, Carla Caldwell. Carla will walk you through setting up, choosing a plan, roles and permissions, scheduling payments, and more. Hey, pro advisors, I'm Jacqueline, and you're watching In The Know. It's the show designed to keep you in the know on the most exciting updates to QuickBooks Online. So without further ado, let me invite Carla to lead you through a bill pay training. Carla, welcome. Oh, thanks for having me, Jacqueline. I'm so excited to be talking about bill pay today. We have so many details to cover, so we're just going to dive in and make sure we cover all that there is to talk about. So the whole idea of QuickBooks bill pay is that clients can streamline their AP process by paying their bills right within QuickBooks Online. So every time we go in to schedule a payment, we'll be able to choose the method that we want to pay it. So if we want to pay by check or ACH, either one of those will be available. And eligible QuickBooks bill pay clients can even choose to have a faster ACH payment if they want to get it there potentially as early as the next business day, of course, excluding weekends and bank holidays, all the good things, right? Otherwise, it usually takes about three days. Now, another benefit of the QuickBooks bill pay is that it's a lot simpler to set up the vendors. If the vendor you're paying isn't already a QuickBooks Online customer, then you or the client can actually invite those vendors to be part of the Intuit Business Network, the QuickBooks Business Network, where they can add their own payment information so that payments can happen right away. We did this with a client recently and they were paid within a few days and they were so excited about how easy that process was. So I definitely encourage you to check it out. They can also receive an email invitation or they won't also, they will receive an email invitation to do that. So I usually like to tell my vendors that that's coming just so that they expect that in the email. And they then also receive an email when the payment has been scheduled, they know it's coming. So really great for that whole process, a lot of communication around what's gonna be happening. So some great benefits to the vendors and to our clients as we are working with them to do this. So. Who can use QuickBooks Bill Pay? Well, QuickBooks Bill Pay is available to clients using QuickBooks Online. Now, it's a little bit interesting on this. It reminds me a little bit about QuickBooks Payments where we're receiving money from customers. So there is an application process for our clients that we can initiate through QuickBooks Online Accountant, or obviously our clients can. But we want to do similar to we do in QuickBooks Payments where we let the client accept that and actually sign up because they are agreeing to an agreement with QuickBooks about this whole um, uh, subscription that they're doing. It is a monthly base subscription model where they can choose from three different subscription plans. There's gonna be a basic, premium and elite subscription plan. We're gonna talk about those here in just a second and we'll talk about the costs associated with that. Now, if you have accountant build clients that you would like to set up with QuickBooks Bill Pay, you can do that and you can offer your preferred pricing, the ProAdvisor preferred pricing for those accountant build clients as well. So this is such a game changer for them because now we are able to do this on behalf of our clients. Our clients are able to do this and there's full visibility without us having to go in and log into bank accounts or having them print checks or mess up checks or whatever the thing is with all of that. So just all of a one stop solution for our clients is so incredibly helpful and efficient for our clients and really allows transparency in what's going on because now we can see all of that information. I'll show you what I mean here in just a second. When QuickBooks Bill Pay first is launched, it is only available for clients, or it was only available for clients that were paying for their QBO subscription directly. So over the past few months, we have seen this open up for everybody that is on accountant build subscriptions. And so it is really fantastic to be able to do this with our clients. So if you're gonna be paying for your client subscription, you can begin to set this up right now through QuickBooks Online Accountant. Simply go to settings, Go to your subscriptions and billing and then accountant build subscriptions from there on the list you go to the client actions column on the far right side and then select to add bill pay it'll walk you through that it'll send an email to the client so that they can enter in their information and apply for bill pay 
once that's all been done, then they are going to check their um, email address and have that information to be able to finish out the application process. Now, today you cannot add a client build customer into a ProAdvisor preferred pricing option. Technically, right now, read into that as you may, uh, it is only available for account build clients. So in other words, we would be paying that on behalf of our clients. However, we can recommend a QuickBooks bill pay plan to them. Again, you're going to be able to see the different subscriptions and you can see them on the screen here on this slide. So what they're going to see are the three different plans and choose whichever one makes sense for the client. Of course, they could start out with the free one, that basic plan, and then realize, you know what, we are using this more because we love it. We want to move on up. Or like one of our clients, they were like, just put us on the top one because we're going to start paying our bills through here and let's just get it going. So that's exactly what they did as well. Now, once, is the pro once the process is complete and the client's QuickBooks bill pay account is approved, you as the pro advisor are going to receive an email notifying you that your client is now subscribed. So again, just a, a little bit of a different process there. So that's why we wanted to make sure you understood what was going to be happening there. For customers who are going to pay for their own QuickBooks Online subscription directly, they can also apply for QuickBooks Bill Pay either from within the Bills tab in the Expense Center or when they create a new bill. You know, when they go in and say they want to schedule it, that's when it's going to pop up and allow them to walk through that process. So again, save and schedule payment, and then they're going to be able to fill that out. So either from the bill pay, they can say they want to start using the QuickBooks bill pay, or when they schedule a payment, it's going to ask them for that, and they'll fill out the information there that they need um, at that time. Once they have done the application, they will receive an email that tells them they've been approved or not. Now, these are the three plans, the basic plan, the premium plan, and the elite plan. The basic plan is $0 subscription. They will get five free ACH payments per month. And if they go over that by one or two, it's only 50 cents per ACH after that. And they also can have automated bill pay, uh, bill creation and auto matching of transactions. So let me say what that is. That means that when the payment goes out, it goes out. And when it comes uh, through the bank feed, because it has cleared the bank, it's going to automatically be matched. Kind of like what you remember seeing over on the QuickBooks payment side. Same thing here. QuickBooks is really automating these processes for us. Now, the premium plan is the mid-tier bill pay plan, and it's only $15 a month, has up to 40 free ACH payments or included in that, and beyond that is 50 cents. Here, we're starting to see some additional benefits to this where you start having unlimited 1099 e-filing, automated bill creation, and of course, still the auto match transactions. The top tier plan is the elite plan. There are no fees for ACH payments. So we definitely would want to use those, right? That's how our team would be. Um, unlimited 1099 e-filing, auto match transactions. Here we have role-based permissions. If you're on QuickBooks uh, Essentials and higher, it's not available to our Simple Start customers that are using the elite plan. Um, and then bill approval workflows and automated bill creation. Now, for every plan, there are some additional fees for checks and faster ACH and all those types of things. Lots of little fine print here. You'll be able to get to this um, as well. And of course, I'm sure there's going to be links where you can go in and dive in deep a little bit on that as well. So check out those pricing um, on that for the details. But the whole idea here is that there are three plans. The most basic one that we can do for our clients that do very few checks all the way through the top tier where we have unlimited ACH. And then of course we get our 1099s and have role-based permissions for that. And for those clients that are doing lots of bill pay, that totally makes sense, but there's really a plan for just about everybody. Now let's take a look at a few of the other features in a little bit more detail. When the client is all signed up, they can go in, if they're using the Bill Pay Elite subscription, there are some bill-specific roles for their team. These roles allow the clients to set permissions and control on who can create, edit, approve, and pay bills, which is super important because we're going to be sending money out of an organization. We need to make sure we know exactly who's doing what. So we have the first one, which is a bill approver they can approve bills but they're not able to pay them or take any other actions related to the bills their whole job is just to approve a bill i love that 
that is great, like with our nonprofits and the board and they just need to approve, that's what that role would be. That'd be great. We also have the bill clerk. They're able to add, edit, and view the vendors, add bills, and mark them paid. Now, they have to mark them paid because sometimes they get paid other ways than just through bill pay in case they have to hand write a check in an emergency or whatever the case is, but they can't approve or pay the bills through QuickBooks bill pay. And then we also have the bill payer. They're the ones that view and pay bills and they can edit vendor information, but they can't take any other action related to bills. So all of those roles are available to clients signed up to QBO Advanced. That's when they get to have these custom roles specific to this. Now we have other training that kind of dives into the details of all the fun things you can do in QBO Advanced. Highly recommend you check it out. More and more of our clients are starting to have more sophisticated needs and you should check that um, for that. Now, as we are looking about bills that are um, being paid through QuickBooks Bill Pay, whether you're an accountant or a client, you'll need to go into their QBO file to do that, of course. And when you go in, there's going to be two options for you. You can find the required bill by going to expenses, the expense area, and then to bills. And then you're going to see that there's now an unpaid tab. Then from the action column, you can schedule the payment. Select um, that and then you can walk through the process. The other option is you're in a bill and when you save it, there's gonna be a save and schedule payment option. And then of course you can go ahead and launch that as well. So the first thing you're gonna do when you get ready to pay a bill through QuickBooks Bill Pay is decide where the money is gonna come out of. So what account is it going to be? Now, typically you're gonna fill this out one time and you're not gonna to have to do it again. So just be mindful of that. Um, and so you're going to be selecting the bank account that's connected and then the QBO account as well. Once that's been done, like I just did one literally earlier today, and you don't have to select that anymore. It knows, but you just do it that one time at the beginning. Now, you do have the option, which I really like, is that next time I could pay out of a different account. And that's a possibility as well. So that's um, important to note also. All right, in the next section, you're gonna choose whether to pay a bill by ACH transfer or a paper check. If you select the ACH, then you would confirm that all the information needed is there. If you have the information, um, then you can enter it in, or of course, as we said before, you could request that from a vendor. Once that information is there, you're gonna select the date that the money will, will be withdrawn from the client's account, and then that will go on to um, be getting paid and sending that over to the client through ACH. Now, if you notice that the payment will be arriving late, then there are some customers who are eligible will have the option to select a faster ACH payment for a fee. This will allow that payment to be scheduled as early as the next business day, of course, holidays and weekends excluded. Um, and usually it takes about a day. So there are some things that you have to look at in there and they'll let you know all of that. That's one thing I really like is that they're very communicative about what's happening with that. Um, so if you want to um, have a vendor that is connected through the QuickBooks business network, then the bill pay will deliver their payment directly to their preferred bank account, which is really pretty awesome. I've actually seen this with a few vendors and, and customers, like we're seeing that starting to happen more and more. It's pretty cool to see all that uh, movement going along there. Now, if you select a paper check as the payment method instead of the ACH, then you of course need to make sure that the postal address details and all of that stuff are in there. You'll even be able to put in a special memo at the bottom. You'll still select the withdrawal date for the, for the amount that's going to be taken. And then you select next and away it goes and it's gonna work just beautifully. Now, when the payment is going out by check, remember it takes a little bit longer than those ACH payments, but it tells you that and it even tells you an estimated date of arrival for that check to get there. Um, I'm getting ahead of myself because we still have to review and schedule everything and you get another chance to review all of this, make any changes, the notes and all the things and schedule that out. This is what it's going to look like when it's done, giving you all the details of what you just did. Again, I'm talking through it so it takes a few minutes, but it doesn't take long once you've gone through this process, your vendor's address is there, if you're mailing a check, their ACH is there because you're doing an ACH payment just makes it so smooth to get all of this done and out. And you're gonna be able to see all of that information here as I'll show you in just a second. Now that it has been scheduled, it's going to send an email to the vendor saying, hey, payment's on its way. 
In fact, this happened the other day and my the vendor was actually on a board for one of our nonprofits and he emailed and said, hey, I think we missed one of the bills. And sure enough, I forgot to check one. And so, boom, all of that was uh, resolved very quickly and we were able to take care of that. So really great because he got an email right away the same day, even though it wasn't expected to be received for a few more days. So really great. Again, that communication piece, I think, is just so critical to make sure our vendors know what's going on. It's also possible that you can pay, of course, multiple vendors at one time. You'll select those and schedule payments for multiple ones at the same time. You'll see all that same kind of information there of how it's going to pay them, if it's ACH or checks um, and the withdrawal date, all of those types of things are all going to be listed there and really make it easy for you to review it and then go ahead and schedule those payments. Now, then the question becomes, what do I do about tracking all of that, right? We've sent the payments. How do we know everything is going like it's supposed to? Well, you're going to see that you can track the status of bill payments. So this screen right here is actually showing you what it looks like in the expenses center. When we go under bills, remember I said that a minute ago, we could go where it says unpaid. So now we're going to go to the tab just to the right of that that says paid. This is going to show you a list of payments that have gone out. But for those that have been done through the QuickBooks bill pay payments, you're going to see another special option there where we're going to be able to look at all of those. And that's where we're going now. Here you can see all the bills that they've paid. And again, if you go to that action column in the far right, you can show those payments in a bit more detail. It's going to show you things like the date, amount, which account it came out of, and the payment method. Of course, this time it's you know QuickBooks Bill Pay. But if you go into that in a little bit further detail, you're going to be able to see a lot more information as well. So each one of those, you're going to see the status of what's going on there. And as I said, when we go into the details, we get back to that same screen we saw just a few minutes ago when we scheduled it, shows me all the details. Now, why this is important for us to look at is because if there's a reason that we need to cancel a payment, you're going to see that there's an option right there that tells you up until this date and time, you can cancel that payment. It has not been sent yet. So it gives you a little bit of time after you've scheduled it and then you're like, oh, wait, oops, had a problem. You have time to fix things, right? So that's always really encouraging that that gives you just kind of a minute there if you need to, to go in and cancel that. Of course, you confirm that you're planning to cancel it and then you get confirmation of it. And then it's really the same procedure, whether it's ACH or check. Um, and you just kind of walk through that if there is an issue with canceling. That is our bill payments. Now, I will just say, you know, Jacqueline, when all of this was launched and I got to see how easy this was to stay in one system to do bill pay, it made such a difference in how we were able to relate to our clients and really get things done for them. In fact, literally just today, I was just telling you before, I just did a whole bunch of payments for a client and we were able to let them know and he immediately can go right into QBO and see what's going on there. So there's full transparency in everything that's happening. And I really, really like that um, as we're working with our clients with a tool like this right inside of QBO. Well, I love hearing that this tool helps you. It helps you help your clients and it saves everyone time and increases that transparency that you mentioned. Carla, thank you so much for this incredible training and for really diving deep into bill pay. And thank you for watching this episode. I'm Jacqueline, the host of In The Know and leader of ProAdvisor training and certification. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe so that you don't miss a single episode. We'll get you next time.